Our chemistry on our team is strong, you know, so our guys have really enjoyed uh, being around each other. And, um, you know, that hasn't been an issue where, where I think with, I think there's some teams, you know, if your chemistry isn't strong, you know, too much time together could, could be a bad thing, you know, but, uh, but our guys have, have really come together even stronger than we've been in the regular season. They've had a lot of fun together. And, um, you know, I think it's going to benefit us in this bubble situation. We know what time it is. I mean, we have a lot of vets on this team. Uh, you know, it's time to lock in and focus regardless of what's happened before the bubble, in the bubble, up to this point. None of it matters. Uh, we have to, to be ready from the tip, uh, from game one, from the jump. Anything that happened in the playoffs, momentum, energy can shift. Um, hopefully stay healthy. That's the biggest key. The team that's the healthiest and playing the, you know, the best is going to be a team that's going to be a lot of team standing. Uh, so, so we have enough, enough veterans and, and leaders and guys that have been there to understand what's at, at, at I guess, the task at hand and the seriousness of said, the atmosphere and um, the challenge that we have ahead of us. I feel like the team chemistry is definitely uh, elevated just because we're forced to hang out with each other a lot more. Um, literally every day, morning, afternoon, and night, we see each other. So um, it's not bad at all. Uh, I definitely feel like it, it brings our camaraderie up, and uh, it's definitely going to show up on the court during the playoffs.